six foot one, five foot six manlet. And we're going toe to toe. Are they natty or are they not? What is going on, YouTube family? I am so excited. I have the man, the myth, the legend, Coach Greg Doucette. I've been watching this guy's videos for so long, and to be sitting in this studio is a very surreal moment for me. So what better thing to do with Greg Doucette than sit down and have a natty or not? We have this list. We've not gone over it. We've not talked about what we think. So you guys are going to see us debate live right here whether we think these fitness influencers are natural or not. Greg, are you excited for this? I can't wait to get going. Look how big this guy is. 270 pounds, roughly. Yeah. And I'm 186. And so there's your difference. Six foot one, five foot six manlet. And we're going toe to toe. Are they natty or are they not? Let's start with Max Taylor. I'm going to say that Max Taylor is not natural. Not natural. And what makes you feel that way? I think that just the progression over the years. Um, I think that he. Like, especially when he got on TikTok, there was, like, a pretty quick progression. I think then it kind of stabilized, but then now he's doing competitions and there's so much pressure, especially as a fitness influencer, and I can speak to this. When you get into the space of, like, getting on stage, there's so much more pressure for you to look a certain way or to look good. Because if you show up and you look like garbage, people are going to rip you apart. So I think just based on that pressure of having to look that way for stage would say to me that maybe he did something leading up to the show and got off of it in time to do a natural competition. And so what I saw when I first saw Max Taylor, I thought this guy's natural. Then I saw him prepare for the competition. I thought, Mm, I'm getting a little bit suspicious. I watched him do the, the the first show he did, and I thought, hmm, wasn't looking as good as he as, as I expected him to. Then I saw him do the next show, which is a natural show, and I know he passed the polygraph test, but he's actually getting his blood work done. And so I personally think he's natural, although it's suspicious. He looks that good that he might not be natural. And so I think the final conclusion is going to happen once we actually see the blood work. Next up, the most controversial of this group, I do think, Shizzy, 0%. And so, Coach Greg, I have it at 99%. I give him a chance that he's natural, and his coach and all these other gurus are arguing, oh, we looked at the blood work, but and it's explained in this way. Your AST is high. Oh, that's just from hard training. Couldn't have been from taking SARMs. And, oh, we'll leave out the cholesterol, and let's not show the testosterone on this test. We'll show it later. And Coach Greg doesn't know what he's talking about. But do I really? And so we've analyzed his physique. We've seen how he looks. I think for me, it's the data points, the height versus weight versus body fat percentage. He'd be such an outlier genetically if he were at his age to be, what is he, 6'2", six, 6'3", two, two, six or 230. Is, uh, yeah, at the 230 range. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of muscle mass to be holding. Um, and he's even admitted that there's been times where he's like more consistent, less consistent. To be at that type of body weight with that much lean tissue you'd have to like literally have all your boxes checked all the time you're not taking months off you're not taking time off from the gym or from eating well like that to me just the just from a statistical standpoint it's such a low probability that he's able to hold that much tissue naturally i mean for me for example before i got on anything i was ripped at just under six foot one 178 180 182 and at that point everybody thought holy crap like this guy is 100 percent enhanced but i wasn't i hadn't even like taken a SARM, no, you know, anything. And, but that to me shows like me being 6'1", peeled at 180. This guy's kind of lean at 230, only two inches more than me. I just think it's just, he'd be such a genetic, like just a statistical outlier for me to believe that. Next, Alex Eubank. Oh, uh, you started me off with the ones that I don't think are. I think that Alex, I'm actually going to give it to him for right now. Natural, this most recent video Greg did where he showed his blood work and the testosterone had rebounded so dramatically. And he's talking about how he's eating more and he's like, you can see how much he's sizing up. That to me, like, looks like clomiphene in terms of like getting his levels back to where they'd be. And I think people, some people would argue like, oh, that's still natural, but it's it's not. If you guys know what clomiphene is, it enhances your natural levels of testosterone production. The drug is banned by WADA. Is. And so you, can. you can't use it in sporting competition. Everyone's going to be writing in. What the heck is, is Alex on that got his test levels from 200 and something to 900 and something? And if it was natural, well, he'd be natural. But it's it's not a natural compound. And so to me, if you take something that's banned by WADA, then that makes you not natural. 
Michael Hearn. Is it possible that Michael Hearn's natural? Michael Hearn in that video, he said it was 290 pounds. Is he really 290? Like, is he lying about that? Like, what do you think? Do you think Michael Hearn is 290? He said he was 290. He's 270. Do you really think Michael Hearn is bigger than this guy? Like, at 50-something natural? Yeah, I think I think once you get so dug in, it's like a Ulysses or Simeon Panda. I think that these guys, and I get it, because people look at me and they're just like, oh, it's just steroids, where there's so much more to it, right? It's like the train the sleep, the recovery, the supplementation, the consistency, the training intensity is the 90%, right? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that like my physique would look like this if I was 100% natural and I did all those other things. No, it's an accelerant. It is a performance enhancing drug. It's not a performance replacing drug. So I think even if Michael Hearns on TRT and maybe a little bit of HGH, I think that's maybe possible, maybe to toss, I think early in his career, there was definitely some serious steroid use, but I think now, he gets upset because he wants people to take him seriously and he wants people to look at him and say oh Mike looks like that because he you know he goes to the gym and incline presses 405 which he does he's such an impressive human being in the sense that he's so consistent he, this guy I can tell you he does not miss a meal he does not sleep less than eight hours like this guy takes his shit seriously so I think that there's this whole thing of like oh if people know that I'm on even a little bit of something it's going to delegitimize all my hard work and so I feel bad for the guy because he's just so like he can't he can't back out now he's so dug in that if he were like everything would come strong it's kind of like liver king like he built his whole thing on like primal you don't need fucking steroids the testosterone's low because you are not eating liver and raw organ meat and then that whole thing came crashing down when they found out he was on test growth age hormone, growth hormone 10 i use or yeah. so Deca. It was a so, crazy cycle. It was crazy. So I think that's my thing with... Do you know that the Liver King has stated that since then he's gone natural? Since that whole debacle, he which says, is, I'm now 100% natural. Which is a joke. I all. think he upped the doses. I think so. He looks crazier now. Yes. Do you think The Rock's natural? It's not even on the list, but like... <laughs> What do you think about The Rock? I know. There's it's like, no it's way. a joke to even think it's possible. Like, it's just as silly to think that The Rock is natural as Michael Hearn. All right, switching gears to someone a little bit shorter, young guy, Tristan Lee. Tristan Lee. I actually just worked out with Tristan in Vegas, and I think natural. And the reason is for the exact opposite of Shizzy, in the sense of, if we're talking about statistical probability, at his height and his weight, he's not a big guy. Like, when he's bulking, he's like 150. When he's peeled, he's like 117 to 120. Dude is not heavy. So When I you think... see him in person, he's smaller than you expect. Oh, of right? course. And when you see his photos, he looks way better than they are. He definitely has, like, figured out lighting and all that stuff and does a really good job. I think he's also like has really great structure for bodybuilding even though he's small. Like small waist structure, good hamstring drop, good insertion, good muscle bellies. Things you can't really teach. My theory was he was natural when he was young. So lean, so much pressure in social media. I think the temptation to want to take something because all your friends imagine he's meeting all these freaks of the, around the world. The biggest guys. It had to be tempting to see what his body could do and the fact he was at 4.4% body fat. Unbelievably lean. I think his testosterone levels would have had to been crashed almost impossible of muscle and so i think my personal opinion was he started natural took something and i don't know what it is maybe just a small cycle or sarm whatever improved him a little bit allowed him to stay ripped all the time give him that energy then said this is not the life i want and then he went natural and i think he's natural now and i think he regrets having a carnivore diet doing 20 to thirty thousand steps a day training that much only getting four hours of sleep i think that it developed body dysmorphia for him he got caught up in it and i think he's trying to be a lot healthier now and i think he's doing a great job of it and so i I would say natural now you clearly think natural now perhaps you use something in the past we don't really know but it doesn't matter but you know if you're young and you feel pressure to take something just try to look at tristan lee look at his story and think is it really worth it all right guys so that is it for our first natty or not that was so much fun if you're not subscribed to this guy you're wasting your time you need to go subscribe to this guy right now link will be down in the description if you're not subscribed to me i don't even know what to say anymore hit that sub button hit the bell notification without further ado we'll see you on the next video